Hey, Ross World, my money makes money. I can't see nothing with these on. <laughs> five stocks, five sectors, or rather five sectors, five stocks. So I'm going to go through these very, very quickly, but this is going to give you some sort of idea to help you better invest on a broad spectrum. Like people just randomly pick stocks, but there is a method to the madness. Either it's Warren Buffett or Ray Dalo or Jeff Bezos, all these billionaire investors, whether they're CEOs of huge corporations or they're a multi-billion or million investors. So I'm gonna give you what they're mostly used for, these sectors and also these stocks. And then I'm gonna give you five stocks within that sector. First, railroads. Railroads are mostly, when people invest in them, they know they don't get dividends. You do have a small potential for growth, but mainly dividends. And here are some for your pleasure. Union Pacific. The ticker is UNP, Canadian National Railway, ticker CNI. The CSX Corporation, their ticker is CXX. Norfolk Southern is NSC, and Kansas City Southern is KSU. See, that's one sector on thousands of other sectors that operate in America that you can actually invest in. These are not my personal picks, even though I am invested in some of these, but these just to give you an idea. So don't take this as I'm giving you my stock choices for you to go ahead and invest in them. No, this is a great idea. And by the way, these are pretty good choices. Next, property, real estate, right? Dividends, dividends. Apple REIT, and the REIT, R-E-I-T, that's Real Estate Investment Trust. Their ticker is A-P-L-E, not to be confusing with Apple, the technology company. Starwood Property, Starwood Property, S-T-W-D. Camden Property Trust, C-P-T. Washington Prime, W-P-G. And Ellington REIT, and their ticker is pretty cool, EARN. E-A-R-N. Moving on. Tech. The tech market is so vast. It's so huge. But I try to give you some of my top picks, but not giving you stock advice. Now, these are mainly for growth, okay? Uh, maybe one or two of these may have dividends or maybe not. All right. Advanced Micro Devices. That's AMD. The Intel Corporation. That's I-N-T-C. Micron. M-U. NVIDIA. N-V-D-A. Apple, A-P-P-L-E, Apple. Now here's some bonus ones for the tech. You have Google. The one I like out of the two that fall under the alphabet is G-O-O-G-L, and then Google also has another one that's G-O-O-G. You can kind of compare that to like the Berkshire and Hathaway where one is uh, the Berkshire dot A and then the B-R-K dot B. Um, but there's a huge difference. Like the A is like over $300,000, I believe. And then the dot B one is like $200. Now, the Google G-O-O-G-L is really close. We're talking about maybe $100 or two within the G-O-O-G. Now, another, and then this is a hybrid stock. And i am make sure I name it before people get on me, Tesla. So Tesla play inside of the technology market as well as the car market because it does both. Moving right along, cars, okay, cars. You have Ford, their ticker is F. Fiat Chrysler, ticker is F-C-A-U. General Motors, GM. Toyota Motors, T-M. Honda Motors, H-M-C, Honda Motors Company. Now that was for dividends. Cars are mostly for dividends, right? They fluctuate in price, but mainly people invest in them because they give out dividends. E-commerce. Now e-commerce, in my opinion, for me, is mostly for growth, okay? Mostly for growth. And here's some to look at. Shopify. The ticker is SHOP, S-H-O-P. Amazon, A-M-Z-N. Biosun, B-Z-U-N. Alibaba Express, B-A-B-A. Baba, Walmart, WMT. Now, those are five sectors with five stocks in them with a few bonuses here and there. Now, don't forget railroads, property, tech, cars, e-commerce. Now, 
a lot of you are saying, well, Amazon and Google, those are thousands of dollars. But here's the, here's another note for you. Go over to M1 Finance. Go over to Stash where you can individually invest in those particular stocks in fractions. Even Union Pacific, one of the railroad companies. Now, just for giggles here, I'm going to give you one more sector in case you're one of those even number guys. Like some people think of two pillars and one in the middle that supports it, five pillars. But some of you actually want even numbers. I got you. Here's my last and final sector, bonus sector, right? Biopharmaceutical companies. Now these are very, very volatile. These have a lot of great potential for growth and a lot of potential for you to lose a lot of your money. And this is where you really have to time the market and do your research, uh, whether it be Zach's online too that you can use even through an app. And I'll hop on that in another video, how I can tell you buy, hold, and et cetera. But you also have to look at the RSI, the Relative Strength Index, that will also help you with the oscillator or if something is overbought or oversold, help you another tool in your toolbox in order for you to buy, sell, or hold. Now, without further ado, Abvia. Now, some of these I may butcher, I'm sorry. Abvia, but the ticker is ABBV. I actually have this stock. Pfizer, PHE, well-known stock. Gleed Science, that's G-I-L-D for the ticker, and I also have that one as well. The Kronos Group, and their ticker is C-R-O-N. Then Hyozyme Therapeutics, and their ticker is pretty cool. It's Halo, H-A-L-O. So that's pretty much it, guys. Five sectors, five stocks, with a bonus sector for you guys who love even numbers. This is Ross World. Don't take this as stock advice, but take this as advice to diversify your stock. I'm out.